Hey everyone, how's it going? We're back here today. Um, we do have new bearings to go in. Some yeah, Betco brand one. So yeah, we'll slap them in and hopefully we'll get the sump back on it. Well, that's the plan anyway. So oh, I haven't done anything under here as yet. All I did was pull that cap off. So I'll give that a bit of a polish and we'll see how well it comes up. Um, I don't know how well this video is going to go because I forgot the bloody GoPro mount. So <laughs> I don't have a mag mount today. So yeah, I don't know. We'll see, just see how we go. I'll film whatever I can and yeah, we'll go from there. So all right, I'll get, get polishing on this and we'll see how it goes. All right, bit of an update. It's all work trying to scrub bits of bloody bearing material off the journal, but it's, it's not looking too bad. You see, there's a little bit there I've still got to get off, but yeah, I'm actually sort of, you know, I wouldn't say happy, but, um, yeah, it's turning out better than I thought it was going to. We'll put it that way. So I've still got a bit more to do on this, and, and then I suppose we'll go down the line and start putting all new shells in. Be interested to see what these other ones are like. I think they'll be a lot better. I don't think they'll be like that. Because usually it's the back ones that suffer first. So, yeah. But no, besides that little bit there, I'll get that off and... That one's probably as good as it's going to get. So, alright, I'll do that and I'll bring you back. Alright, so, got our cap off, all cleaned up. Make sure there's no nasty bits. Make sure we're nice and clean last thing you want two new shells They actually branded Bepco bearings, okay. I would have thought they would have been a re-box type of deal, but no, apparently they actually are Bep, Bep, Bepco branded. Do assembly lube to make sure she um, does as little damage as possible till it makes oil pressure. gentle with that because this might be the difference between this actually working and not so she'll be good with plenty on it dirt in any of this so put that one there for the moment uh, this is going to be awkward I don't know how much you guys are going to see but uh, uh, uh. that doesn't help actually if I mm. yeah I don't know how this is going to work because this hat does not want to stay on my head while while bloody laying here. Uh, yeah. 
so all I need to now nah, this is not going to work I don't have enough hands all right I'll bring you back in a sec all right that was awfully awkward but <laughs> we got there now cap back on this old pretty self-explanatory sort of stuff find bolts that are behind me somewhere. I never realised how much I really liked that mag mount until I don't have it. The problem is it's in the other car, that's the issue. Alright, where's the other nut? There I'll start it. Now I'll probably what I'll do, I'll just tighten these loosely and we'll go through the rest of the caps and then we'll talk them all at once. So we're not missing any or anything, and then yeah, they're all talked, they're all done. So I'll pinch that up and then we'll move on to number one, because they're both down. So that makes life a lot easier. So I'll bring you up when I'm pulling number uh, I'll bring you up. I'll bring you back when I'm pulling number one cap off. Oh, all right. Yeah. Let's get number one off. Let's see if there's much carnage. Oh no, no, that's not too bad. A few little score marks, but yeah, all things considered, yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, get that out of the way. How are we looking at a crank? Oh yeah. Yeah, no, she's nice. Really nice, actually. Well, that's alright. Hopefully the rest are like that and we'll be good. Alright, I'll get some bearings switched out and I'll bring you back in a sec. I think what I'll do, I'll push the rod up off to one side, move the crank out of the way so then I can just sit the shell in. It'll, it'll just work a lot better. That was a bit awkward trying to get number four in. As long as, yeah, I should be able to push that up out of the way a bit. Now oh, that shell's already... Oh, yeah, the top bit's a bit howdy doody. But that's alright. We're not using that again. So, alright, I'll get this cleaned up, get some shells ready, and I'll bring you back. That's a far better idea than trying to turn it in. I'll bring it down the side and just be able to slide it straight in so uh, that's one one more get back up there uh, this is really hard yeah i'm just not gonna be able to do this one handed all right i'll bring you back in a sec yep back on the rod make sure we get all this around the right way or back on the journal, I should say. Get back in there. I'll put a nut on that one that's poking out first. Just stop from falling off on us. these up and we can move on to the next one this is really awkward to do uh, I'll have to remember next time do not forget the magnetic mount for the GoPro because you'll have a bad time Alright, 
<sighs> that's good. That's halfway done. Um, problem is I'm running out of time today to do much more of this thing. I was hoping to get the sump on and all that sort of stuff, but other things have come up that I need to attend to. So, yeah, I might have to leave this one as a short one for today. I'll finish off next, I'll just do the other two, the, you, you know, there's nothing really much left to see. If there's something nasty, I'll get the camera out and have a look, but yeah, I, number one looks pretty good, so I reckon the rest aren't going to be too bad. Um, yeah, I think, yeah, well, that's all I've got, got time for today, so this one, yeah, it's probably only going to be a short video, but we're making progress. I still need to sort out a oil pickup. I do have one there which I think I can use. It's not amazing but it's not terrible either. So we might just use that one. I should have two more somewhere but I can't find them. Which is real handy. Not something I thought I'd actually ever need. But turns out yeah. <laughs> one of those things. So alright you lot have fun and I'll catch you all in the next one.